Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a candle flame using a pretty unusual nodes uh, configuration in cycles. Uh, it's not really going to be useful for animating, but for static pictures, I think it's uh, extraordinarily realistic given how simple the node configuration and there's no post processing. First thing to do is delete the default cube and add a plane. Uh, next thing to do is add a modifier to that plane, give it an array modifier, set it to fit length, make that length 1, turn off relative offset, put on constant offset, and up it to about 0 0.04. The reason I've chosen that is because as you can see up here that gives you 25 faces and that number ends up being important to know later. Next thing to do is to give this a material and I'm just going to do it the normal way. Click New. Uh, I'm going to immediately change Diffuse to Transparent because I know that's what I'm going to need and uh, a tip is always turn that color up 100% white or else you'll be wondering why it's not transparent later. Uh, switching over to the nodes configuration now in uh, the node editor. I need to add a mix shader so shader mix and um, next I need to add an emission shader and right off the bat this is most of the work if I switch over to cycles view you'll see I have a, a white cube here now what gives it the the flame like quality is uh, adding a gradient to that. First I have to have a, a texture coordinate which in this case I'm going to use a sort of unusual one. I'm going to use object and next I'm going to apply a gradient texture which would be there. If I go object to vector and then factor out to the shader the first thing you notice is I've got some effects happening here. Uh, doesn't look anything like a candle flame though and you'll find that that's simply because the gradient texture here needs to be turned up to one of the spherical ones. If you go to just spherical that will work fine but it's uh, even blurrier on the edges if you go to quad quadratic sphere and blur is what you want to create that candle flame. Believe it or not that's our candle flame but all those black squares you see here uh, that's a problem and what that's caused by is the default light path setting for transparency which is set at 8. Now if you remember we created 25 faces so all we need to do is up that to 25 and you'll notice every black square goes away. Uh, that is a candle flame and you're thinking to yourself really? Well watch this. If I scale it on the z-axis it begins to um, show a little candle quality to it and uh, if I change the color to something, I don't know, like a Bunsen burner kind of color or something, you'll notice that it's got uh, uh, um, gradations within the flame itself. And if I go down to the orange, create more of a traditional, that looks like a candle flame or, or something, some sort of flame. Uh, I tend to find that rather than picking a color for emission, adding a uh, black body converter, since that's all about temperature and if I use that for the color you'll see it immediately goes into to ranges that look very much like fire. If I up that to 2500 or so yeah you can really play with that quite a bit and um, I'm gonna add a, a quick plane to this just so you can see the the transparency at the edges of that blur uh, giving that a, let's see, let's just give it a checkerboard so that you can see the background. There we go. And as you can see, it's transparent and uh, it really does have a nice candle flame kind of appearance to it. Now the reason this is not really animatable is that if you tilt it too far, you'll notice immediately that you see those rings. But when it's at an angle, it works beautifully and you could in theory animate the entire object like a lightsaber or something whoops wrong object and you know you could you could sort of create a lightsaber effect but for the most part the point of this is to be a static flame 
Anyway, I hope that was of some help, and uh, see you later.